Who was Jesus Christ? Certainly to Christians, the most influential man who has ever lived. So who do you think he was? Let's just do a quick quiz and we'll put down the answers that we think are right, then we'll check them and just see whether they're correct. First, what nationality was Jesus? Think about it. If you need a bit of time to think, just press pause. Think about your answer. What was his nationality? Then press play. And this is the answer. Jesus was Jewish. Just like Jewish people today, he would have looked much the same. That was his nationality. And that's given to us in Matthew chapter 1, where it traces his line, his lineage, right back to Abraham, who was the father of the whole Jewish race. Okay, let's look at the next question. What religion was Jesus? Think about it. Lots of religions today, like Catholics or Church of England or Episcopalians or Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons. But what was Jesus? Which religion was his? Again, if you need a bit of time, press pause and just wait. And here it is. This is the religion. Jesus belonged to the religion of Judaism, the religion of the Jews. In the Gospel of Matthew, we're told that Jesus said to all his disciples, keep all the religion of the Jews, keep them until the time of his crucifixion. So during his life, he followed the religion of the Jews, Judaism. OK, let's move on to the next question. What church did Jesus attend? Well, again, we know there are lots of religions today, but which one would Jesus attend? Again, if you need time, just press pause. And then we'll move on and find out which one of the churches the Bible tells us Jesus attended. Jesus went to the Jewish synagogue. In the Gospel of Luke, we're told that he went and read from the Old Testament, particularly the prophet Isaiah. But he would frequently go to the synagogue, the Jewish church, and that's where he would preach. OK, next question. What language did Jesus speak? We certainly know he didn't speak English. So what language did he speak? Think about it. Pause if you need to. And here's the answer. Jesus spoke Hebrew and or Aramaic. Aramaic was a local language connected to Hebrew spoken by the people, particularly around Galilee. And that's attested to because that was the language the people spoke. The New Testament was written in Greek. Jesus did not speak Greek. So everything we read in the New Testament has been translated from Jesus' language into Greek. There are only very few words that we have recorded that were actually spoken by Jesus in his own language. Matthew 27 gives us a very short sentence and the language Jesus used was Aramaic. OK, let's have a look at the next question. In which country did Jesus live? Well, again, pause if you need a bit more time. Lots of Christians have moved all over the world, but which place did Jesus live? Jesus lived in the country of Israel his whole life, except for the first couple of years where his parents took him to Egypt to escape King Herod because King Herod was killing all the little Jewish boys. And then they came back from Israel and, sorry, they came back from Egypt and they lived in Israel and they basically lived their whole life there. Jesus did go into the country of Lebanon for a couple of days, but apart from that, he spent his whole life in Israel. OK, next question. Was Jesus christened? Certainly today, 
most Christian children are christened, was Jesus christened? Again, think about it. Press pause if you need more time. And here's the answer. No, he was not christened. He was circumcised as a little Jewish boy. Jewish boys are circumcised when they are eight days old. And that's what happened to Jesus. And there's a record of it happening in the second chapter of Luke. He was not christened. Next question. Well, some harder ones this time. Maybe you found the last ones fairly easy. Let's see what these ones say. We call Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ wasn't his name, it was his title. Jesus was his name. What does the word Christ mean? That title, Christ, what does it mean? Think. If you need more time, press pause. Here's the answer. Christ is the Greek translation of the Hebrew word Messiah. So Jesus can be called either Christ or Messiah in Greek or Hebrew. It means one who is anointed or chosen. So when we say Jesus Christ, it means Jesus the chosen one. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Jesus is the Greek translation of another Old Testament name. All the Old Testament names are in Hebrew. Jesus is a Greek name. So which of the Old Testament names is the same as Jesus? Was it Joseph? Was it Josiah? Was it Joshua or Moses? Think about it. Pause if you need. And here is the Old Testament name, which was the same as Jesus. It was Joshua. The name Joshua is exactly the same name as Jesus. In fact, a lot of people now call the name Jesus Yahshua, which is the name Joshua. Joshua was a great hero of the people of Israel. Jesus is a great hero for us because he conquered sin and overcame death. Next question. What does the name Jesus or Joshua mean? All the names in the Bible have a meaning. So which one did this uh, name Jesus, which meaning did it have? Did it mean the Son of God? Did it mean God's salvation? Did it mean the Son of Man? Or did it mean a sacrifice? Again, give yourself a bit of time. Pause if you need. And here's the answer. The name Jesus or Joshua means God's salvation or the salvation of the Lord. Joshua was given that name because he saved the people of Israel. And of course, Jesus got that name because he saved the whole human race from sin and consequently from death. Okay, another question. <clears throat> Who did Jesus call Satan? Jesus only called one person in the whole of the New Testament Satan. Who was it? Was it Pontius Pilate? That was the governor, the Roman governor, who condemned Jesus to be crucified. Was it Judas Iscariot? That was the disciple who betrayed Jesus. Was it the high priest of the people of Israel? He was Jesus' enemy. Or was it the Apostle Peter? Well, again, give yourself a bit of time. Think about it. Here's the answer. It was the Apostle Peter. That's the only peace person that Jesus ever called Satan. Satan just means enemy. It's just a regular word out of the Jewish 
Bible, which means enemy. And Jesus called Peter an enemy because when Jesus was about to go to Jerusalem to be crucified, Peter said to him, oh, no, no, don't, don't go, don't go and get crucified. And Jesus said, you are an enemy of God's plan. And so he said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. And that's in Mark chapter 8. Hope you enjoyed this little quiz. Hope you got them all right. Would you like more? I'm happy to do a few more YouTubes like this, a few more questions, maybe about his disciples or some of the things that happened in the New Testament. Let me know in the comments or by email and I'll be happy to do more.